In this problem, we're being asked to find the zeros of a quadratic function, and we have the equation here. The zeros of a function are the values that you would put in for x that would make y equal 0. And for a quadratic, there can be 2, there can be 1, or there can be 0 numbers that go in there to make y 0. To find those zeros, we are going to factor this equation if we can. And it looks like we can here. Remember, when you factor, factor a quadratic, you're going to get two binomials. And since our leading coefficient is just one here, I've just got x squared, no number multiplied by it. I can put x and x. And then since both of these numbers are positive, I know it's going to be plus and plus here. And I have to find something uh, to go in the number spots that multiplies out to 20 and adds up to 12. And what jumps out at me is 2 times 10, because 2 times 10 is 20, 2 plus 10 is 12. So this will work. If you're not sure about that, you can FOIL this back and check, and you'll get this quadratic. Now, we're talking about zeros of a function. So what we're really looking for is the place where y equals 0. Once we factor it, we set those factors equal to 0. And then we individually set those factors equal to 0, and then we solve them. And this is going to give us the values that when you put them in for x, you get 0 out for y. So in this case, I just need to subtract 2 from both sides, and I get x equals negative 2. And here I just need to subtract 10 from both sides, and I get x equals negative 10. If you want to think about this graphically, the zeros of a quadratic function are the places where the, the graph crosses the x-axis. This is where y is 0, this is where y is 0, negative 2, and 10. So that is how to find the zeros of a quadratic function.